<laughs> Diane Tuzan, who is live in PB, starts it off with Yay! her Padre jersey. A much better story, right, Diane? <laughs> There you go. Yeah, that's the fun story I did today as the Padres headed off to the playoff postseason. So that was the highlight of the day today for me and for everybody in San Diego cheering on our Padres. Um, and then our second story is today leads us out to Pacific Beach and okay. uh, covering go, the yeah, uh, short term rental properties. Um, so we'll have license applications. Those start today. If you have uh, short term rental properties that you want to rent out, be prepared to pay some fees and licenses. That all starts today as well. Oh, boy. All right, now to the middle square. Allie. Hey, Allie. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Yes, and we were talking about Kids Free October that you get to go to over 50 museums across the county, kids for free this month. And then we're hanging out here at Coastal Roots Farm. They are getting ready for their Sukkot Festival. Um, so they're already building this morning. It's a big harvest going on here at the Coastal Roots Farm in Encinitas. So a busy day, that is for sure. But I was a little jealous of Diane getting to hang out at Petco Park this morning. I'm just going to say. Yes. <laughs> yeah, a lot of fun. There you go. we got to catch some games together and wear our jerseys. There you go. Oh, yeah. Playoff games yes. are the best. Go Padres. Oh, I'm and for it. let's bring it to Dr. Gloom. <laughs> no, this is all positive. Uh, it is, this is not hyperbole. Good morning. My name is actually Ed, not Dr. <laughs> Gloom, because uh, I'm not doing gas prices. I'm doing affordable housing. That's another issue. But having said that, this is not hyperbole. History is being made here on the campus of San Diego State. Not since the year 2000 has the San Diego City Council met in concert with the county supervisors. This is a historic summit on affordable housing. Right away, very quickly, the specifics 12,000 new units have to be built. And the only way you're going to do that, nobody can afford rents, nobody can afford to buy a home. We're talking about middle income people. We're not talking about low income necessarily here. These are just working folks, period. And we got to build 12,000 new units. And the only way we're going to do it is to do it on public land. That's what's going on here at this historic summit. Details are straight ahead at four, five, and six. All right, Ed. Sounds good, Ed.